How should we pay for roads? And bridges and stuff. The money's gotta come from somewhere, right? Well, the fair way, I think, is, you know, if you use the road, you help pay for the road. Yeah. And, and if you don't use it, you don't pay. Use it a teeny bit, you pay a teeny bit. It's fair, and it strengthens the link between how much you drive and how much you pay. And it's what we've been doing for a hundred years. And for a hundred years, we've measured road usage with a fuel tax. It was basic math. If you used the road more, okay, that's more miles, which meant you were using more fuel. So, a fee on the fuel was a fee on the miles, was a fee on the road you used. It was brilliant. Fuel equals road usage. It's a good plan, but it doesn't work anymore. I mean, it's been a hundred years. A lot's changed since we started this fuel tax thing. Phones got smaller, TVs got bigger. Wrestlers became actors. We drink milk from plants. Our cars drive themselves. To say nothing of the internet, online gaming, online dating, it's like everything has changed except how we measure road usage. But what happens to our roads when cars go farther on less fuel? And some stop using fuel altogether. For instance, imagine an old truck full of kittens, uh, rescue kittens. Uh, sure. And then there's me in my reasonable mid-sized vehicle. And then my in-laws in their very nice electric car. Okay, say we all drive 100 miles. Look at that. The old truck is less fuel efficient. So the kitten collective is basically paying the road bill for my in-laws because no gas for an electric, which means no road fee. It's totally unfair, which is the point. A hundred years into it, a fuel tax is an unfair way to measure how much road we use. So, the Eastern Transportation Coalition is exploring the feasibility of replacing the fuel tax with a system where you pay for the miles you drive rather than the gas you pump. We're calling it the mileage-based user fee, MBUF, MBUF. And it means whether you're me or my in-laws or an old truck full of kittens, it doesn't matter how much fuel it takes. A hundred miles is a hundred miles. It's fair, and it strengthens the link between how much you drive and how much you pay, which is how it was always meant to be. You got questions? Find answers at tetcoalitionmbuff.org.